Hello, I'm Haziel. And I'm Eileen. And welcome to Viking View. Today is National Puzzle and Riddle Day. What kind of room has no doors or windows? I don't know. <laughs> a mushroom. I don't get it either. For lunch, we'll be having spaghetti and corn dogs. What's the weather like? The weather is going to be a high of 70 and a low of 45 with cloudy skies. Seniors, if you are applying for scholarships with Irving Schools Foundation, you must have your application completed and submitted by today. These counselors will be off-site on Friday and you will not be able to assist you with your application on that day. Nimitz High School PTSA is hosting its fifth annual Chili Cook-Off Clubs. Boosters, groups, teachers, staff, churches, and restaurants are all welcome to enter into competition with their best chili and join in the fun. Besides awesome chili, there will also be a bake sale and silent auction that day. When, when you say Friday, January 30 at 6 p.m., we're at the Nimitz High School cafeteria. May the best chili win to register to compete. Email nimitzptsa at gmail.com or call 469-236-3437. Be sure to please include name of, name of indi individual or group, phone number of contact, email address, and the theme of booth. Proceeds will go to the after, after prom event for Nimitz seniors. Healthcare enrollment and wellness fair is to be held Saturday, January the 31st, 2015 at the Fair Park and Bar Catero building. They are looking for the support of energetic community oriented volunteers to help with all aspects of the event, including greeting attendees at the welcome desk, handing out bags of procedure at the food distribution table, and much more. Bilingual students are specifically needed. Volunteers are needed from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. All volunteers will receive an event t-shirt and lunch and will get a volunteer hour verification forms for community service hours. Help families access one-on-one -on -one health insurance enrollment assistance. Get connected to local programs and resources. Receive free medical screenings, free flu shots, and take home a bag of fresh produce. This is a great opportunity to get involved and give back. See Ms. Bradley in room 133 to sign up. <clears throat> Nimitz FFA will be having a meeting today at 6 p.m. in the AG building. We, have, we will be discussing career development events, competitions that you, you can't get involved in that include vet science, floriculture, nursery, and landscape, horse ju jugging, poultry judging, and imagery, environmental and natural resources and farm business management. If you're interested in one of these, please plan to join us Thursday at 6 p.m. in the AG building. See one of your AG teachers for more information. Let's try this once again. Volunteer forms need to be handed directly to Ms. Bradley at room 133. They are not to be put in her mailbox, fax, or dropped off by somebody else. Students need to take the responsibility of hand handing them directly to Ms. Bradley in person. This allows for simple mistakes to be corrected on the spot and prevents having to track down students who have failed to complete the form correctly. If you are hoping for a presidential award and for performing 100 or more hours of service this, this reporting year alone, remember that you have your form submitted by February the 6th. All other forms are due March 2, 2015. Start filling out paperwork and collecting those signatures now. The Leukemia and Lymphobia Society, also known as LLS, LLS, exists to find cures and ensure access to treatments for blood cancer patients, and is the world's largest voluntary health agency dedicated to the funding of cutting-edge treatments for blood cancers. Here are some personal stories of their work. Leukemia. I have leukemia. That means I have cancer inside my blood. And that means I have cancer in my blood. Everyone is born with a certain number of various cells. Red blood cells, which gives the red color to blood and takes oxygen all over the body. White blood cells fight against diseases. Platelet blood cells help stop bleeding. Blood cancer is a condition that occurs when any one of these cells start to multiply and build up in the bone marrow and other tissues. They no longer can perform the function for which they were made. The platelet can no longer stop bleeding, causing excessive bleeding and easy bruising of the skin. The red blood cells can no longer carry enough oxygen to the various parts of the body. The white blood cells can no longer fight infections, and so it causes the immune system to become impaired, and this results in one getting infections easily. Leukemia, 
lymphoma, and myeloma are blood cancers associated with abnormal blood cells. I'm Michelle Ryan. This is my daughter, Annie. I'm Jordan Vargas. I'm 15 years old. Michelle and I got married in 1995. And I go to Bronx High School of Science. We have four kids. Typical type Irish family. I'm basically the same kid as anybody else. I like to go outside and play with my brothers and my sister. Annie is a pretty tough kid. A lot of people say she's cute. My son has always been active. He's really funny. She's a good sister. You know, he's a smart kid. But she likes to play on her bike. Jordan's been weird and suspicious to me. It started probably the end of June. We were getting ready for the summertime and everything, and Annie was feeling a little bit tired, having some leg cramping. When I was in seventh grade, things started to get a little difficult. I found it hard to walk upstairs. He had fallen down in school. I felt that there was something going on there. Yeah, we brought her in for a full physical, said everything looked great. And we kind of like told the doctor, look, we want a, we want a blood test. My wife uh, took him to the doctor, and she said, you know, run whatever test you have to run. So we didn't think nothing of it. We got a phone call two days later. You need to call this woman, set an appointment up, they know you're coming. That was the day, July 17th. And they told us she had leukemia. We found out that I had leukemia. I remember feeling cancer. We didn't think it was leukemia. No way. No way this is happening. I was shocked. We were normal parents, and suddenly this happened and changed our whole world. Please get your fourth period class involved by joining the campaign today. Ask your fourth period teacher to sign up via email message to Mr. Manali. We have a unique opportunity for bilingual students who might be interested in helping set up a neighborhood watch program. If you are interested and would like to earn volunteer hours while helping to make a neighborhood <coughs> safer, please see Ms. Bradley in 133 for more details. Nimitz Nation, please help us congratulate our students of the week. For ninth grade, Jasmine Martinez, nominated by Ms. Parrish Leas. For 10th grade, Lourdes Contreras, nominated by Ms. Ms. Gallimore for 11th grade, Judith Montoya, nominated by Ms. Taylor. And our 12th grade student of the week is Yesenia Machado, nominated by Ms. Jones. Great job, students, and way to be Viking strong. The Nimitz bowling team narrowly won against Jesuit on Saturday at USA Bowl in Dallas. This was the only second loss for Jesuit in three seasons. Match play was led by brothers senior Dylan Geiger and sophomore Trevor Geiger, helping the team taking the lead five to two into Baker play. Trevor won his match by 162 points and Dylan won by 48 points. Junior CJ Townsend also contri contributed with an individual win during end match. That's all the news we have for today, Nimitz. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day. Now please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible.